Hello, Gearspace. I'm Aaron Higgins from 1010 Music. I'm here at Superbooth 2021 and here to show you Blackbox 1.9, our new release to the Blackbox firmware. We've, incur we've incorporated a number of user requests. We've done a number of the greatest hits from your list of things like tap tempo, LFO, filter resonance, and a variety of modulations. The first thing I'd like to show you is how the LFO works. If you take a look over here at our black box, you'll first notice that there's a totally different view that now gives you much more control over your samples. You can see eight different controls at once and jump back and forth, and with this control, you've got four knobs in this quadrant, and over here you have four knobs with the other quadrant. So it's way easier to get around, way easier, easier to see more stuff. But the thing I really want to point out is the LFO. Lots of people have asked for this. You can now modulate things that are inside on a per voice basis. The LFO will allow you to modulate things like filter, cutoff, resonance. And in this case, I'm going to show you it modulating the loop points. So, so you get a little bit of the apex, fin, apex twin style jumping around by just changing how long the loop point is. Now we'll do the same thing and adjust the filter. So let's go in here, choose a modulation source, LFO, crank it up to the super high amount. And you've now done something that sounds totally outrageous and ridiculous. All right, the next thing I'd like to show you is the delay enhancements. We've done a number of things to make delay sound better. So once you put delay with effects on your clap, turn the delay way up, come to the second page, you now have a built-in filter and more control over the feedback. Let's go back and start our thing here. I will create a sequence. Now when we come here, we've got the clap triggering every measure. But when I turn my effects up, you'll see that I can make feedback really super high and I can put a filter on it. Change the delay something really fast like this. And there's lots of different options like beat sync, whether or not you're ping-ponging or not, or whether or not you're using the built-in filter. You can turn that on or off. The next thing I'd like to show you is the ability to do some more advanced granular features. Here on this sample, you'll see that we've got a, a spoken word sample that's got all kinds of effects processing applied to it in the form of granular. Uh, what, what you've got here is a number of controls from speed, I'll start with something that's a little more straight down the middle. And then you can slow it way down. And now with the new LFO, you could say, I want to have that speed adjusted by LFO. I'll take the speed to zero. And that really sort of makes it come alive. And you could even take the LFO and have the amount modulated by an external controller, some sort of MIDI CC to really make it even more outrageous and make your own sound. So a couple of things I don't really have the opportunity to demonstrate for you, but we've implemented tap tempo. That's been a real popular one. We've implemented the ability to modulate the envelopes, A, D, and R stages of the envelopes. And lastly, we've enhanced what you can do with MIDI. There's now MIDI control of each pad. You can have it play. There's a note assigned to each playing of each pad. There's a note assigned to recording of each pad. And there's also a note assigned to clearing of each pad. In addition, there's some other small enhancements that really gives any sort of performer the ability to hook up a foot controller or a dedicated controller like a launch pad and do hands-on direct control of recording into cells and playing them back. So that's a quick summary of what's in Black Box 1.9. Thanks so much for your request. This is why we do this, is to make you guys happy and to make the product that much better. Thanks very much for Gearspace for covering us here at Superbooth. Take care. Yeah.